What is your preferred tool for designing networks? Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to look at how we design networks using Microsoft Office Visio. So Visio has proven to be useful when it comes to designing networks and different types of diagrams that you may simply want to have in your environment. And notice that you have different types of stencils or other templates that are pre-formatted for you. And if you'd like to build up something from rack diagrams to floor plans and different types of uh, related diagrams, it becomes easier for you to simply go around and uh, make changes as desired. You also have different search categories like the network and the flow charts if you're interested in processes and different types of things. But our main focus in this particular video is to look at how we design networks. So I'll click on networks. And notice that when you click on networks, you have different types of options that are provided for you. You have the detailed network diagram, you have basic network diagram, Active Directory, Rack Diagrams, and different types of features that are available. You also have uh, these two, the Detailed Network Diagram in 3D and the Basic Network Diagram in 3D. Mainly what you would see is uh, the different types of features that appear when you choose the 3D diagrams. You have uh, a complete view of a 3D device and how that device is simply connected as, as, as opposed to simply having uh, a two-faced device like you would see when you have the Basic Network Diagram. So in this particular video, I want us to go with the detailed network diagram. I think we'll choose this option and then we'll not change anything. We'll leave it on the metric units and proceed to click create. So um, over here, once you have this open, notice that you have this pen on your left hand side with different types of symbols that you simply have uh, or different devices and shapes. You have uh, locations, you have network symbols, you have the servers in 3D, as well as uh, the mounted servers. So our design should look like this. I will quickly go and click on the network and peripherals. And for network and peripherals, I simply want to have a cloud. So let me quickly check. Okay, so I have a cloud over here. All right, so I'll bring in my symbol and position, position it at an area or uh, a position which is desirable based on what I'd like to have. Okay, but I don't really seem to like this one. So I'll simply click on it and press the delete key and look for something that is uh, close to what I'd like to have. So I would go there and search for cloud and then scroll. Okay, there we go. So I would like to have something like this. So this is uh, pretty much what I'd love to have. And then I would go ahead and look for a router. I just want to quickly have a router in my environment. The easiest and quickest way is by simply searching these devices. It becomes quite easier and it simply checks uh, different types of routers that you have and present them to you. And then you can make a decision based on what you'd like to have. So I would go with that option. All right. Notice that you have these guiding rulers, which simply allow you to determine how far or how close or how well aligned are you from the previous device that you had. And then from there, I would add a router. Oh, we have a router. I want a firewall. All right. So let me just quickly search for a firewall there. Okay. Search for firewalls. All right. And then I would have this over there. Okay. And then I want to have a switch. So if I was perhaps imagining in my mind, I would simply, oh, sorry. I want a switch. I'm imagining looking for maybe a 2960 Cisco switch or maybe something related to that. So um, from the switch options, I would love to have that. I'll simply click on it and drag. So I have the devices that I want so far. Okay, so I have my router. However, when you look at the cloud, notice that it lacks all the beautiful graphics that other devices I have added have over here. And this is so um, common to what you'd see when you have something that is non-3D. To change maybe the color or the features which are on this particular device or maybe this particular shape. Of course, the cloud is uh, comprised of different types of devices. So what I simply want to have here is to change the color. I would go ahead and click on it, click on format shape. On the right hand side, I have the format shape pen, and then I can click on the fill arrow. Over here, I have under solid fill, that color, that color chosen for me. And I can simply choose a different color. So if I want my cloud to have that color, or maybe that blue, simply click on it. Notice that the cloud now picks up a familiar color. All right, now that I have my cloud routers uh, firewall and switch, I simply want to add a few computers. So I'll go ahead and search computers. If you're looking for laptops, you can simply go ahead and uh, search laptops or different types of uh, devices that you may want. So I want to have um, computers in this case. 
Oh, okay, CRT monitors. I didn't expect this to be there in this time and age, but anyway, it's good to have, depending on what you may simply want to, um, to have in your design. I'm looking for just a basic PC over here. Okay, let's let's just try to have some laptops. I'm fine with laptops. I'll simply add laptops. And the fact that I'm adding some laptops, I am now um, thinking we must also have maybe a wireless access point. So I'll go there and check for wireless access points. Let me see. All right, so there is our wireless access point. I'll simply bring it over there and then have some servers. So I will go ahead and look for a server. Okay, um, I see I have some database servers or Active Directory servers, okay, or application servers. Let me just quickly bring in a couple of them, okay, um, maybe a DB server as well. Okay, so I have everything that I need in the meantime. And what is missing is the connections to simply uh, show what device connects to what device and how is that connection done. And um, once we have that, I think we can see what else we can do with this particular diagram. All right, so here's the beauty of um, using the 3D design model. You'd notice that if you hover on any of these diagrams or devices over here, you would actually have these uh, arrows which are directing you to how you can connect to any device. So I'll simply click on those to connect my devices all the way, okay? All right, I'll go ahead. Okay, and then this one is wireless. So if you just also hover on this one, uh, I must be able to get a wireless option. Just let me try to see that. I'm not really getting one. However, if I need to, oh, there we go. All right, so I'll simply have um, a wireless uh, connection for that. I don't really want that arrow. I just want the wireless feature. All right, so I will get rid of that arrow like that to simply, uh, it's more like a call out to simply identify that this particular device is connecting wirelessly. And then over here, I would get um, my cable connection. But notice that I don't have an extra one to simply connect the, the DB server over there. So what I would do is to click on the switch and go to the home tab. In the home tab, you have the connectors. So I'll simply click on the connector, click and hold, and then drag to the device that I want to connect like that. So that would simply give me the connections that I want. Apart from connections, if you would like to have maybe text to simply give detailed descriptions of the different devices that you have, Still in the home tab, notice that if you click on the text option, all right, if I come and uh, drag, it's more, like a, it's more like creating a text box. So I can simply go there and create my uh, description. You can still go ahead and label the rest of the devices, all right, depending on how detailed you'd like your information to to be depicted within uh, the design that you're having. So if there is anything else that you'd like to change, you can still go ahead and make quite a lot of changes over here, such as um, background changes by going to the design. You can actually make changes to the background if that is uh, something you'd intend to do. You'd notice that um, currently I'm using Microsoft Visio 2019. So I think in previous versions, I used to see there was something like a map, but I'm not seeing any over here. So you could use different types of backgrounds, depending on what you'd simply want to have. And if you intend to save this, you can save it in different types of formats. Notice that you have, um, just quickly, uh, no, 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 not, not the OneDrive. So if I am to maybe uh, save this, all right, I can save it maybe to my uh, desktop or wherever I'd like to save it. And then you have different types of uh, options over here. You can save it as um, an AutoCAD in an AutoCAD format. You can save it as uh, a JPEG or even a PDF format. But if this is something that you would love to keep in uh, Visio, especially as a stencil, meaning you'd have to uh, constantly make changes to it or use it as a template, it might just be important for you to maintain it as a Visio stencil. So basically, this is how you go about designing and creating diagrams in Microsoft Office Visio. Please uh, make sure to leave a comment on what softwares you prefer to design networks and like this video if you found this helpful and enjoyable. Thank you.